Hi, welcome back to the Best Travel Channel. My name is Gareth and I'm here in the historical Roman city of Chester. I'm really looking forward to this one, so let's see what we can find. I start my Chester visit here at the Borton Shot Tower. Only three remain in the UK, and this is the oldest one, built in 1799. It is quite possibly the oldest in existence in the world. Molten lead would be poured at the top and when the lead dropped inside the tower it would cool forming flawlessly round pellets which would then be used for muskets in the war against France. Chester stands on the site of a Roman fortress town called Deva Victrix. Eastgate clock which you see here marks the fortress's entrance. The clock itself was added to the 18th century archway in celebration of Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. John Douglas, its architect, was better known for his church designs, but also designed some of the workers' accommodations in Port Sunrise. You may well remember that name from my video of Preston's history. Some say Eastgate Clock is the second most popular clock in the UK for being photographed. Being a popular shopping destination, no day trip is complete without seeing these rows. These rows are completely unique to the city of Chester. The first floor consists of a covered walkway of shops, while the ground floor has separate shops, some of which are usually a half storey below street level. The earliest reference to the rows we see today is dated around 1356, although most of these facades and designs are 18th to 19th century renditions of older Tudor timber framed black and white architecture. There are some 20 undercrofts, which were used as cellars throughout the rows. An example can be seen here at Browns of Chester at 28 to 34 Eastgate Street. These days though, such crypts are used to throw husbands in when they complain of aching feet to their wives during shopping trips. I'm only joking, husbands are thrown in for many many more reasons. Some say that the rows were built on top of Roman ruins, and that's where the undercroft idea came from. Here on Watergate Street, at number 41, is Bishop Lloyd's house. Bishop Lloyd's house was built, of course, by a Bishop George Lloyd, the Bishop of Chester between 1604 to 1615. He came from a Welsh family, and through his mother, Jonet Conwy Vychan, was a descendant of Marhiv ap Cynan, one of the founders of the 15 tribes of Gwynedd in North Wales. Before the 14th century rose, Chester was known as being a busy Roman town that was a linkway to Mancunium in modern-day Manchester, Eboricum now known as York, Cotchum now known as Wigan, and Bremer to Nackham, 10 miles from Blackburn in Ribchester. This amphitheatre is a great example of British Roman history. In fact, it was Britain's largest amphitheatre, and at the time could seat 10,000 spectators over two storeys which rose to a height of 40 feet. Amphitheatres were used for training legions in preparation for war and for entertainment if you could call it that, such as animal fights, executions and gladiatorial fighting. Not far from the amphitheatre is the Roman Gardens. They were built by Graham Webster and Charles Greenwood in 1949. Graham Webster was the curator of the Grosvenor Museum, which holds some of Chester's Roman artefacts to this day. The Roman gardens contain well-arranged pieces of the Roman fortress. These columns would have been part of an exercise hall. This reconstructed hypercost would have pumped underwater heating and came from a Roman bath hall, which consisted of three halls, each a different temperature. These are the ruins of St John's Church. A church has existed in some format on this site since the Anglo-Saxon times. The first church was founded by King Athelred in the year 689. The larger church ruins of which we see now were extended by the Normans in 1075 during the reign of William the Conqueror. Fast forward some 600 years and the parliamentary roundhead soldiers of Oliver Cromwell attached a cannon to the top of the church, 
to breach the city walls during the Civil War. Old D Bridge is the oldest bridge in the city. Originally built to connect the town to the nearby quarry in the Roman times, it was later rebuilt in 1086, repaired in 1279, 1347 and rebuilt in 1367. Behind me is the Roman shrine dedicated to Minerva. It was built in the first century by Roman quarrymen who were working in the area at the time. She was the deity, according to the Romans, of craftsmanship and wisdom. They would often pay their respects here. You can probably see some of the details, but not many. So here we have the actual statue of Minerva with the iconic owl on her shoulder. She's holding a staff here. And there's a little sort of urn or altar here. And just here is the actual altar itself, or a, a triangular temple roof. The actual bits here are much newer. I believe they were built in the 19th century. Well sadly that's all I've got time for here in Chester today, but I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed being here and showing you. I don't know where I'll be as always in my next video, but I hope you join me there. Take care for now, bye bye.